Hey guys, so it's almost the halfway point of my study abroad experience, but um, so far there are a few like major changes I noticed between like the states and Costa Rica. Um, so as I mentioned previously, they don't like make dinner the big thing, for them it's lunch. And like during lunch, like you probably have like three different plates on the table and like the whole family comes and it's every day. Like family that doesn't even live in this house, they're called over and they eat together. Um, another difference is what they wear. It's a tropical climate here and the weather is never lower than like 70. Recently, it's been in like the 70, high 70s, but it honestly feels like 90, but you never ever see a local wearing shorts, ever. Like the first day I walked to class, I wore a romper and it was normal, like a normal romper you would wear in the summer. And when I walked in there, like all the US students were like wearing shorts and stuff, but all the locals had like buttoned up white shirts and long black pants. So I was like, wow, I really didn't pack right for this trip. But I asked my mom Matika about it and she was like, no, it's like, they just prefer long pants, I guess. And I'm like, okay. But I still wear my shorts because I would pass out in the 90 degree weather in black pants. Um, another difference would be their driving. Oh my, like, I thought some people in the U.S. drive horribly, but once you get to Central America, it is terrible. Like, they don't, they don't follow no rules on the street. There's stop signs, they blow these stop signs, po they pass over police. We were driving to Panama, and the police were in front of us driving slow, no pass zone, and our bus driver passed them. Like, their driving is ridiculous. And then I thought Costa Rica's driving was ridiculous. I got to Panama, and theirs was even worse. There was, like, no traffic on the street. So they're, like, flying 90 on a normal street. I don't know. Their driving just freaks me out always. Um, another difference would be, like, um, eating-wise, again, um... Most of their, well, not even most, all of their stuff is so fresh. Like, the fruits, the juice, everything. And that's probably one of the mo most important things I'll miss. The fruits and the fresh food. My mama Tika feeds me all the time. Um, I'll include um, some food footage of my experiences in another video. So you guys will be able to see what it's like living the Pura Vida life. <sighs> Pure life life. Yeah, okay. See you guys.